You guys have been requesting a Bell to Bell episode on this wrestler for a while, so let's just get into it. Today we're taking a look back at Kelly Kelly's first and last matches in WWE. Before becoming a wrestler, Barbara Blank grew up in Jacksonville, Florida. While she was a wrestling fan as a child, the woman who'd become Kelly Kelly pursued other activities, such as gymnastics and cheerleading. In fact, it was actually modeling that got her into wrestling. After seeing her work, WWE offered Kelly a tryout. Even though she had no wrestling experience, WWE still signed her to a contract at the age of 19. Here's what's insane. Kelly Kelly joined WWE in May of 2006, and one month later, she would make her debut in the company. On June 13th, 2006, ECW premiered on Sci-Fi, and also marked the first appearance of Kelly Kelly, who was simply known as Kelly at the time. This started a storyline where she would try to take her clothes off in front of the audience, but her on-screen boyfriend, Mike Knox, would always intervene. Additionally, Knox started using Kelly Kelly as a shield during his matches, which sometimes resulted in Kelly getting hurt. While this is going on, Tess Mays returned to WWE and aligned himself with Mike Knox. They'd begin a feud with Sandman and Tommy Dreamer, which carried into the August 22nd, 2006 episode of ECW, where Kelly Kelly would have her first match. The show started with an extreme bikini contest, and the participants were Tori Wilson, and of course, Kelly Kelly. When it came time for Kelly's turn, Mike Knox and Test ran out and prevented her from taking off her robe. Then, Sandman and Tommy Dreamer rushed into the ring and challenged Test, Knox, and Kelly to a six-person mixed tag team match. They accepted, and the contest began with Tori Wilson pulling Kelly Kelly into the ring. Wilson gave the 19-year-old wrestler a couple of kicks and set her up in the corner. After the lights randomly turned off, Tori Wilson made the motion and hit Kelly with a stink face. Having enough, Kelly Kelly rolled out of the ring and Test tagged in. And that was the end of Kelly's involvement with the match. Test, Mike Knox, Sandman, and Tommy Dreamer were the only ones in the ring for the remainder of the contest. This was not only Kelly's first WWE match, but her first pro wrestling match ever, so I think that's why she spent such little time in the ring. Like I mentioned earlier, she was signed about three months before this match took place, so she didn't have a whole lot of experience either. So yeah, there's not much to say about Kelly Kelly's debut match. Mike Knox ended up getting pinned by Tommy Dreamer, causing Kelly's team to walk out in defeat. Kelly Kelly and Mike Knox's relationship continued to get tenser until it finally came to an end with a breakup that only works in wrestling. After leaving Mike Knox, Kelly formed a group with Layla and Brooke called Extreme Expose. They danced in the rain and that's about it. Throughout most of 2007, Kelly Kelly still wasn't wrestling much, but towards the end of the year, she's performing more regularly. In fact, she even won a number one contenders match for the women's title, and while she didn't win, it was a step forward in her becoming a more serious competitor. Eventually, Extreme Expose split up, and in 2008, Kelly Kelly was drafted to Raw. She had few with the likes of Beth Phoenix and Julian Hall, and would even pick up a few wins on pay-per-view. Then in 2009, Kelly Kelly got another opportunity at the gold, when she challenged for the Divas Championship, but like before, she was unable to win the title. For the next couple of years, Kelly would hover around the championship scene, but never got any opportunities at the title. At the same time, her popularity continued to build, and she soon became the most popular female wrestler on the roster. Once 2011 rolled around, Kelly's WWE career really took off. It started with her teaming with Edge, and even helping him defend the World Heavyweight Championship. Then she began feuding with the Divas Champion, Brie Bella. Kelly got to face her at Over the Limit, but because of a switch with Nikki, Double K lost the match. That wasn't the end of it though. A few weeks later, on the Powers of the People edition of Raw, Brie Bella was set to defend her championship against a challenger of the fans choosing. Over 50% voted for Kelly Kelly, and after almost 5 years in WWE, she won her first championship, solidifying her as a top female performer. She'd have a decent run with the belt, successfully defending it on a number of occasions, but it eventually came to an end. At the 2011 Hell in a Cell pay-per-view, Beth Phoenix challenged for the championship, and just like she did almost 4 years earlier, Phoenix proved to be the better woman that night. Things were still going strong for Kelly though. At WrestleMania 28, Kelly Kelly teamed up with Marina Menounos, and together they defeated Beth Phoenix and Eve Torres, which also marked Kelly's first win at WrestleMania. Shortly after this, Kelly Kelly took some time off from WWE, but did return in August 2012, with a win over Eve Torres. Despite a strong comeback, Kelly Kelly would be released from her contract soon after, ending her six-year career in WWE. She later revealed she had time off to heal her neck, and she wanted to pursue her modeling career again. For about five years, Kelly Kelly would remain absent from WWE, but in 2017, the former Divas champ showed sign of a comeback. She made appearances at the Hall of Fame ceremony, and even did a Table for Three episode on the WWE Network. While that was all cool, the big moment came in 2018, when the youngest female wrestler to be signed by WWE made a return during the first ever Women's Royal Rumble. 
This wasn't the only WWE match Kelly had in 2018 though. About 10 months later, she also participated in a 20-woman battle royal at the Evolution pay-per-view. While she didn't wrestle a single match in 2019, Kelly still made history when she became the first female 24-7 champion during the Raw reunion. Then, after going silent for a short while, Kelly Kelly returned for one final match at the Royal Rumble. Over half an hour into the 2020 Women's Royal Rumble match, we had already seen a number of familiar faces return. Not wanting to be left out, Kelly Kelly joined the brawl at number 21. The bombshell's first target was her NXT rookie, Naomi. After that, Tony Storm tried to take down the former Divas champion, but Kelly countered with her Karana. With Storm lying in the corner, this is the perfect opportunity for Kelly Kelly to perform the stink face. Even with all this momentum built up, all it took was a single strike from Charlotte Flair to knock Kelly down. Once she recovered, Kelly Kelly focused her attention on Tony Storm, as both wrestlers tried to eliminate the other. However, once she saw an opportunity to eliminate Charlotte Flair, Kelly tried to pull a fast one on the Queen. Kelly Kelly did her best to fight back, but she only angered Charlotte, and it ultimately resulted in her elimination. Kelly's appearance was pretty short, but I thought it was alright. I'm sure it wasn't intended, but the stink face was a cool callback to her very first match, and goes to show how far she's come. After her stint at the Royal Rumble, Kelly Kelly appeared the following night on Raw, doing a backstage segment with the Street Profits. Since then, we haven't seen her in WWE, but I have a feeling she'll show up in the near future. Kelly Kelly's a bit of a controversial figure in WWE, because she had no wrestling experience before getting signed, and she was given a tryout based on her modeling career. I can see the argument, but I still have to applaud her. She put herself out there on live TV at only 19 years old, and did a lot of learning on the job. On top of that, Kelly Kelly did pretty well for herself. Sure, she wasn't a megastar right away, but towards her last couple of years in the company, she became the face of WWE's women's division, and still gets huge crowd reactions over a decade later. But what about you guys? Did you enjoy or despise Kelly's WWE career? Let me know in the comments. Also, check out the first and last matches of another popular female star, Paige. With that, I'm Zach from Tap Out Corner, and that was Bell to Bell.